Welcome to this video where we'll be delving into the thought-provoking world of Pyrrho, the ancient Greek philosopher who questioned everything. In this exploration of skepticism, we'll examine his unique perspective on knowledge and how it's shaped philosophical thinking throughout history. Join us on this journey as we discover the radical ideas of Pyrrho and how they continue to influence our understanding of the world today. Imagine living in a world where nothing can be known for certain, where every belief is equally doubtful, where every opinion is equally valid, where every action is equally indifferent. This is the world that Pyrrho envisioned and advocated. He challenged the common sense assumptions of his time and proposed a radical way of living that aimed at achieving peace of mind. Pyrrho was born around 360 BC in Elis, a city-state in Western Greece. He was a member of a clan of seers who interpreted the oracles of Zeus at Olympia. He also served as a high priest there. Pyrrho studied philosophy under Anaxarchus, a follower of Democritus, who taught that everything is composed of atoms and void. Anaxarchus also accompanied Alexander the Great on his conquests of Asia. Pyrrho joined them on their expedition and witnessed different cultures and religions along the way. He was especially impressed by the Indian gymnosophists, or naked sages, who practiced asceticism and meditation. Pyrrho returned to Greece around 326 BC and settled in Elis as a teacher. He attracted many followers who admired his simple lifestyle and his calm demeanor. He did not write any books or leave any systematic doctrines behind. His teachings were preserved by his disciples such as Timon of Phlius, who wrote poems praising him. According to Timon, Pyrrho taught that nothing can be known for sure about anything. He argued that human senses are unreliable, human reason is fallible, human language is ambiguous, human criteria are arbitrary. He claimed that for every argument there is an equal counter-argument, for every appearance there is an equal non-appearance, for every affirmation there is an equal negation. He concluded that nothing can be said to be true or false, good or bad, right or wrong. Everything is indeterminate, undecidable, and unjudgeable. Pyrrho was once invited to a banquet by King Antigonus II Gonatas of Macedonia, who wanted to test his skepticism. The king ordered his servants to bring fake fish made of wax and pretended to eat them. Pyrrho did not react at all and ate the wax fish as if they were real. He advised his followers to suspend their judgment on all matters and refrain from making any claims or commitments. He also recommended them to live according to appearances without adding anything from their own opinions or preferences. He believed that by doing so, they would achieve tranquility, which he considered the highest good for humans. Pyrrho's philosophy had a profound impact on later thinkers such as Sextus Empiricus, who systematized it into what we now call Pyrrhonism. Pyrrhonism was one of the two major traditions of skepticism in ancient times, along with academic skepticism, which originated from Plato's academy. Skepticism challenged the dogmatic claims of other schools such as Stoicism, Epicureanism, and Aristotelianism. It also influenced modern philosophers such as Descartes, Hume, and Kant. Pyrrho's philosophy still resonates with us today as we face uncertainty, complexity, and diversity in our world. It invites us to question our assumptions, examine our evidence, and adopt an open-minded attitude towards different perspectives. It also reminds us that sometimes it's okay to say, I don't know, instead of pretending to know something we don't. So what do you think about Pyrrho? Do you agree with his views? Do you find them appealing or disturbing? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.